So how much crud is removed by a reverse osmosis water filter? We're about to find out. I'm going to replace the pre and post filter and just see what kind of crud is in the old ones. We'll crack them open and, and see just how gross it is. All right, we'll start with the stage one filter. I expect this one to be the dirtiest because it's the first one in the line. I'm going to use a rather unscientific, uh, imprecise method to open it here. So that gives you an idea, <laughs> gives you an idea of what the filter is protecting me from, the rusty pipes. There you go. So it's a, it's a charcoal filter. You can see a lot of brown residue in there and the water we pulled out of it it isn't very deep, but you can't see through it. So, if you don't use a filter, you are the filter. There's a close-up of the stage one filter. You can see the outside is where the filtering starts, and on the inside it's still clean, but it definitely protects me from all that brown crud. Now we'll have a look at the stage three filter. This is actually what you want to see, is clean water coming out of it. So that means the one and two are doing their job, and by the time I'm drinking the water, at least what's on the output side is super clean. Just fresh water. But let's open it up and see what we get. There we go, another charcoal filter. I'm not gonna cut open the reverse osmosis one because they're expensive and it's not worn out yet, but this one looks very clean on the inside. So there you go, now you know what's inside the filter. And I think you can see the importance of it, especially from that first one. You don't want to be drinking that brown water. 